This is probably the hardest experiment. So. So far in 5301, the students have learned many of the techniques that organic chemists use every day. Today, they'll learn column chromatography. It's the last technique before their original research project next week. They are growing more comfortable in the lab, but Phil puts their newfound confidence in perspective. On an average day in my life, I'll set up two reactions, I'll do two extractions, and run two columns. So when you think about all of the things that you've done over the past two weeks, the goal is essentially to be able to do all of that in one day. One, two, three, yeah! And so it begins. But packing and running a column is not easy. Yeah, ideally for this experiment, you would have one mentor uh, mentoring each student. So nervous for them. Fifi made me feel like this lab is much more difficult. Hopefully it's not as bad as they say it would be. Column chromatography is another way to separate mixtures. The students first pack the column with a special powder. Then they load the mixture on top. The target molecule is benzylacetone and it's contaminated with guaiazoline, a dark blue impurity. As the mixture is washed down the column, the target sticks to the solid powder more strongly than the contaminant. So the mixture separates into two narrow bands, which come out of the column at different times. Yep. As the TAs thought, everyone is stumbling over the first simple step. And the problems just keep coming. The sand static itself all the way up my column, blew out the top yep. and into my face. So this is better. The sand is on the wall. She'll turn off the air, but it keeps going down. You, so the air's not on? Yeah. It's not good. There's bubbles in there, uh, and you're in trouble. <laughs> it's barbaric. You're really bad. How do the students deal with the pressure? It's so the silica gel does not end up. They break stuff. Lots of stuff. How do the TAs deal with the pressure? Fifi gets giddy. <laughs> like in Chinese tradition. If we pour together? Yeah. What does it mean? When you are getting married. <laughs> I'm getting married apparently. Take two cups and pour them into each other. Okay. You wait. Thank you, finally. Why, why are you sure that was 10 milliliters? Yes. Don't yeah, steal my... The whole day through. Just an old... I'm not gonna do that right now. No. She keeps me grounded. <laughs> I yell at him. And Phil? Phil just goes rogue. Like you could, like there are some people I would love to f***ing like cope with this. Oh, just like cope with f This is exactly what I want, right? Yeah. I'm finally finished. Yeah, I just collected my stuff. But in the end, everyone runs a great column and purifies their product. My sample's pure. There are no uh, other peaks where there shouldn't be peaks. Actually, I think my favorite experiment was the flash chromatography. Even though it was hard, it was like, I felt like, I don't know, like a chemist almost. I liked watching the column and putting the air pressure down, and I loved like switching the tubes. It was so fun. Oh, I'm not wearing my goggles. That's bad. I really should have been wearing my goggles that day. There's no excuse. <laughs>